Hi, my name is Gary and I'm a content writer at YLabs, a leading global design and research organization working to improve the health and economic opportunity for young people between the ages of 10 and 24 years old. In Rwanda, where I am based, many Rwandan youth are being left behind when it comes to sexual and reproductive health and economic opportunity. Family planning and reproductive health information and services are often only designed for married women. Even though Rwandan law allows youth access to family planning and reproductive health, contraceptive use among adolescents remains highly stigmatized. Cultural norms provide a bias or a lack of information about the need for family planning and reproductive health care makes finding youth-friendly services difficult for unmarried young people. For girls, there has been little change in teen pregnancy rates. Increasing HIV infections and unemployment is the highest among urban girls. So, we created a solution, Cyber Rwanda. Rwanda's first self-care digital platform that equips Rwanda with sexual and reproductive health knowledge, job skills, and streamlined access to quality products and services to support healthy and safe sexual relationships. It was designed with over 1,000 young Rwandans and hosts narrative stories that by columns, a pharmacy locator, and a robust FAQ section. It aims to improve Rwandan youth's SRH knowledge and access to modern contraceptives, through the shop section on the platform, where young people can order health products for pickup at the nearby pharmacy or health post. It's available in 60 schools across six districts and popular youth centers across the country. There are three main features of the platform, stories, learn, and shop. The learn covers videos, FAQs, and advice columns, all about themes like economic empowerment, sexual and productive health, safety, and general well-being. And of course, the shop section links you to the products and services they need. In a bit, we'll look at the stories. When we launched, we only had the stories and the FAQs as the only content on the website. But soon, we realized that young people were actually looking for more diverse content. So we conducted months of field work with the youth, at the end of which we had established their key needs in terms of content. Based on those design sessions, we introduced the advice column and later on the educational pages, the crisis flow for when a young person finds themselves in an emergency, like I just found out when I, that I'm pregnant or I had sex without a condom, what do I do? We created six, more seasons of web comics and we added videos, animated videos, which young people kept asking for again and again. For the stories, each season is reviewed by different US and Rwandan government institution, which include experts in gender, SRH, behavior science, you name it. But each season also goes through at least three rounds of workshops with youth, really to ensure that they will be impactful, educational, but also fun and really speak to their realities. Designing and developing content, or really anything with youth, is really important. And if you can find a way to do this often, even when you're not necessarily looking to immediately apply the funding, even better. In the advice column, for instance, we receive hundreds of questions that give us insights into the question and concerns young people have, which I then integrate into the stories to ensure their relevance. Now imagine having this pool of insights into young people's lives. Imagine the influence, the impact you can have on what you create. And the impact of Cyber Rwanda is really promising so far, after just one year of using Cyber Rwanda. Our research shows an increase in positive attitudes and norms about contraception and family planning among youth. Awareness of long-acting and other modern contraceptive methods improved as well, particularly emergency contraceptives. And HIV testing among youth participants also increased from 38% to 50% after just one year. This coming May, we will be concluding data collection for the endline survey. And then in October, we will scale nationally to reach more youth who will have a search info at their fingertips and easier access to contraceptives. This really is a game changer for Rwanda in how it brings together digital tools with behavior change methodologies. Every aspect of it was designed with youth and is available in tablets in schools, youth centers, and personal phones. We are also exploring using USSD for youth whose access to technology is low. Thanks for your time. I look forward to engaging in more discussion and exploring how together we can create more impactful solutions. To learn more about Cyber Rwanda and Wildlabs work, visit wildlabsglobal.org. See you.